What's going on, friends? When it comes to Harley Davidson's performance parts from their Screaming Eagle branch, one of the most popular items out there is their stage kits. Now, are these stage kits just purely a marketing tool, or is there a little bit more to them, and maybe they might be just a little bit misleading? Now, contrary to popular belief, Harley Davidson did not invent the stage kit. Although that seems like that's all you hear about when it comes to Screaming Eagle parts. Stage 1, Stage 2, Stage 3. Well, Harley didn't invent it. Actually, ma exhaust manufacturers like Kirker, Super Trap, they came up with the idea and started marketing the stage kits back in the 80s. The different stage kits were basically used to define their exhaust systems from how loud they were, what kind of performance you could expect, to try to make it a little bit easier for the consumer to understand what they're buying. Now, Harley-Davidson may be a motorcycle company, but they're also really, really good at marketing. And what Harley-Davidson has done is they've taken their performance parts and they've grouped them into all these different stages, which kind of helps you understand what you're buying when you go to put performance parts in your motorcycle. Don't forget, if you enjoy the video, please don't forget to hit that like button. Tell the YouTube algorithm that we got something going on on the channel. It really helps get the videos recommended to others that are looking for content like this. Now, Harley-Davidson has done an excellent job at marketing their products through stage kits. Harley-Davidson may sell motorcycles, but they're also one hell of a marketing company while building motorcycles. Now, if you're brand new to Harley-Davidson, naturally the first place anybody turns is to the Screaming Eagle catalog for all their performance parts. And if you bought your bike at a dealer, they definitely push the Screaming Eagle performance parts because it's, well, it's all Harley product. But when it comes to the stage kits, I feel like Harley-Davidson, as I mentioned, has done a really good job of marketing the products, but at the same time, I feel like they've been a bit deceitful by the way they go about it. So the way Harley markets the stage kits is they market these in a way that it seems like they would go consecutively. You do your stage one, which is the exhaust, the air cleaner, and the tuner. This is the basis for everything that comes afterwards as Harley markets it. So next is give it a lift. This is putting the cam in your bike. Moving more air through the engine, this complements your stage one exhaust system. Now, after this stage two, this is where I feel like Harley's being a little deceitful with you because you've already bought your exhaust, air cleaner, and your tuner. Nothing else changes there going forward. Now with the stage two, you would think you go out, you buy the cam, you pay to have it installed in your bike. When you're ready for the stage three, that goes on and you leave the same cam in but that's not the case. If you bought, paid for, and installed a Stage 2 kit from Harley-Davidson, you either got, say, their Power of Their Torque Cam on the Milwaukee 8, and let's say later on you decide to move to the Stage 3, you want to go with the increase in bore, well, the Stage 3 kit, you get a different cam. And by getting a different cam, that cam also requires heavier valve springs, so you have to get Harley's Performance Valve Springs installed in the bike, so basically, you're having to buy a whole nother cam. So if you elected to go with a stage two instead of going for a stage three, you're kind of screwed there. You're out all that money in the part and in the labor when it came to the stage two kit. So after the stage three kit, if you decided you wanted a stage four kit, you're basically buying a whole nother kit and replacing everything from the stage three because the stage four kit already comes with brand new cylinders, pistons, injectors, throttle body, new heads, new cam, you're basically wasted your money on the Stage 2 and the Stage 3. So this is where I feel like Harley-Davidson's being a little bit misleading because everything after a Stage 2, if you feel like you're just going to move up consecutively as you have the money or the time to have the bike worked on, what they don't tell you is, is you're completely out on all the money you spent on everything after your Stage 1 setup. Now, naturally, if you've been around motorcycles for a while, especially Harley-Davidson's, you know that there is a whole world out there beyond the Screaming Eagle catalog and what the Harley-Davidson dealership wants to offer you. Boy, I am really never going to get invited to a press release for any new Harley-Davidson motorcycles. They've got to hate me over there by now. But as I mentioned, if you're brand new to riding Harley-Davidson's, just know that there is a whole world out there beyond the Screaming Eagle catalog. Now, don't get me wrong, the Screaming Eagle catalog now is very well organized and very well put together. If you guys recall back in the Screaming Eagle Pro catalog, they did have stage kits, and especially on the twin cams, there was four or five different 
Stage 3 kits for the Twin Cam 103, several different Stage 4 kits, the high compression kit, which kept the same cylinders, high compression pistons, then another Stage 4 kit, made it a 110, and another Stage 4 kit, added a throttle body and some ported heads, but it was still a 103. Yeah, it was kind of an all-out mess. But now with the Screaming Eagle catalog, they've done a lot better job of really explaining to you what each and every one of the parts are in the different stages and what they do for the bike and where can you can expect the power. Now, you as a consumer, what you've got to do, you could use that to look at and kind of get an idea of what you want and then go out and start shopping around and looking at aftermarket parts, which are going to be a better deal. They're going to cost less and they're going to provide you more power for the money. Now, just to be clear, there's really nothing wrong with the Screaming Eagle parts. The really the weak link in the Screaming Eagle kits is the cams. The cams just aren't as aggressive and they're not, in my opinion, as well designed as what you can get on the aftermarket. But as far as the cylinders, the pistons, now the heads, a lot of head porters are gonna tell you everything that's wrong with those heads. And yes, they're probably correct. Yes, their heads probably flow better. But now with Harley Davidson having the certified use program, you can essentially go in and buy a low miles twin cam from a Harley Davidson dealer that would actually have a warranty on it today. Now one of the hardest parts about buying a certified used Harley with a warranty or buying a new Milwaukee 8 is that you're really kind of locked into the Screaming Eagle parts to maintain your warranty. So as far as the Screaming Eagle parts go right now for a bike under warranty, I would highly suggest maybe doing nothing more than the Screaming Eagle camshaft, tune it with the Screaming Eagle tuner that's going to maintain the warranty, but go ahead and source your own air cleaner and your own exhaust system. Normally that's not going to be a problem with your Harley Davidson dealer in the warranty because you really didn't mess with anything internally in the engine and the bike was tuned with the Screaming Eagle tuner. But once your warranty's up, it's game on. You can get out there and replace the Screaming Eagle cam you put in. That got you by for the two year warranty on the brand new bike. And heck, you know, you may even be happy with just the original Screaming Eagle cam that you put in it. So guys, I'm not totally hating on the Harley parts, but I do kind of have an issue with the way the stage kits work and the way some of the wording in the catalogs are. If you're somebody that really doesn't know a whole lot about motorcycles or you're just brand new to the brand and you're really unsure about the aftermarket out there and you get caught up in the whole Screaming Eagle thing and it leads you to believe that, okay, I only have to buy parts once. I buy the stage two, I put that in, then the stage three I just add to it the problem is is going past the stage two you really end up replacing parts that you've already bought and paid for and I understand there are some people out there that just really like to have their work done at the Harley dealer and use the Harley Davidson parts and that's okay the only thing that I would suggest though is just going with an aftermarket cam it's fine to use the piston cylinders and heads from Harley if you want to spend that money on that stuff that's fine there's absolutely nothing wrong with that but as I mentioned, the only weak leak is really the camshafts when it comes to their stage kits. But guys, there is no doubt that Harley using the stage format has been excellent for business. And it's a great business model. It really is. But just don't get caught up in it expecting that buying the cam, this is going to take your stage 2 all the way up to a stage 4. Because, well, after the stage 2, you're replacing all the parts. But anyhow guys, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to drop a like on the video and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Guys, if you're new to the channel or just new to the brand, I hope this helped you out. Maybe kind of shed a little light on this stage kit thing and kind of what all that means. And hopefully you haven't gone out and bought a cam or anything yet expecting that it's going to go all the way to a stage four or something. Because it's, it's not. You're going to be replacing pretty much all the parts, as I mentioned, that you bought and paid for. But anyhow, guys, I really appreciate you watching. That's all I've got for you this week. You guys stay safe on the streets, dodge the cars, and I'll catch you guys in next week's video. Thanks for watching.